Since last time we talked about sharps, today we'll check what flats are. Good idea! I actually meant to ask you. Perfect! Let's start by performing a little action on the A string. This one. Yes, now press your forefinger on the first fret. And I get an A sharp. Right, now press the second fret. And I get a double sharp. <laughs> Actually, yes, but wait a moment before we go into complicated stuff. That note you're playing is actually a B. In fact, between A and B, there is one whole tone. Which then means that sharps raise the sound of half a tone? Precisely, whereas flats do the opposite and lower a note of a half tone, or semitone, or half step. So, you mean to say that an A sharp is the same as a B flat? Same sound, yes. But why two names for the same thing? Well, there are several reasons, and they're all practical. Here's one. I use sharps when I am ascending with my music. And flats when I'm descending. Hey, you're good. Thanks. Can I show you something now? Go ahead. I found the notes on the second fret all by myself. Go ahead and share them with us. Right away, I start from the top string, pressing the second fret. I get an F sharp. Correct. You moved two semitones up. Yes. Okay. Move to the fifth string, the A string. We saw it before. It's a B. Right. Then go to the fourth string. That is a knee. Now play second fret of the G string. That will be an A. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's see the B string. Here we get the C sharp. And on the first string, again an F sharp. As on the sixth. Good. Let's sum it up. Pressing the strings from the top down on the second fret, we'll get 
F sharp B E A C sharp and F sharp again Great! I'm impressed.